What we're going to do today is talk about walking belt replacement on your treadmill. And out here on the treadmill is all assembled and then we have the deck uh, here with a new belt, um, some tools you're going to need, which is a hand screwdriver and some flip out metric and standard Allen keys and then a metric and standard uh, socket set, just very basic tools. Notice that I don't have any pliers, vice grips, or power tools. That's good because these treadmills, if you're watching this video, you have never done this and you don't need to be using pliers, vice grips, or power tools because you'll break something. Um, this is really it. This is all you need. So, uh, you know, one thing that I like to do always, of course, when you're starting on this is taking off the motor hood. Okay? So, there are screws that keep this attached, but this needs to come off and go to the side somewhere way out of the way because if you break that, they're generally, you know, anywhere from $200 to $300 pieces of plastic. Um, I'm just going to clear this off the, uh, the walking surface here. But another thing I like to do is check, roll out my belt and check it for size, just a rough size to see hey, you know, I've got this belt and I'm going to spend a lot of time breaking this treadmill down. I want to know if this is the right size. And, uh, well, gosh, that looks a little long. And you know what? It is a little long. Um, when, you have this, when you have this belt folded out like that, it should be maybe a roller's width long, maybe about that long. But this is clearly too long. So we can see that straight away that this is the wrong belt. Of course, I knew it was the wrong belt, but I want everybody to do this because I don't care what manufacturer or what parts company you're getting parts from, everybody sent out the wrong belt, gotten the machine completely taken apart, put the new belt on, and the belts can be so close in uh, this size that they'll appear to be the correct belt, but once you put tension on it, they will in fact not work. Uh, the worst thing that can happen is that you're taking it on faith that this is the right belt size and seen a lot of bad technicians cut belts off with a knife, cut belts, throw this one out, ready to move on with the next belt. This is the wrong size, so don't do that. So we've got our tools, we've got our belt, it's the wrong size. We're going to go find another belt and we've got the hood off. So when I come back, we'll move on to getting this dismantled.